fix your hook in the vise and wind on the thread. Snap or cut off the waist and then select two CDC feathers. Put them together with convex sides facing and line up the tips. Tie them onto the hook shank pinch and loop style. Try to keep the stalks on top of the shank. Trim off the waist stalks at different positions to help get a tapered body to the fly. Wind the thread part way to the bend and catch in the gold wire rib. For the tail, strip a bunch of fibres from a large olive cock hackle. Tie in on top of the shank. Make sure the tips are aligned and remove any that are too long. Trim off the waist ends and wind the thread to the wing position. Pull the wing back to check the space behind the hook eye. Now wind the wire rib in even turns up the body and tie off. Wriggle the wire to break it off rather than using scissors. What's that? You've dropped your tying kit and it's all mixed up. You need the new Acme Automatic Resorting Engine, or ARSE for short. The ARSE comes with a British user manual, or BUM for short, containing full instructions. The ARSE features a hard-wearing ceramic resonance action plate, or CRAP for short. Why not make an arse at home from easily sourced spare parts found around the house? It's easy to make an arse when you have a bum. When you have installed your arse and examined your bum, you are ready to start the crap and experience the joy of separation. Just look how quickly these beads and hooks are sorted. Be the envy of your friends. Buy the Acme Automatic Resorting Engine today. (music) 
Now select a grizzle cock hackle dyed olive. Strip off some flue and trim the stalk. Tie down with the good side facing you behind and in front of the wing. I've left the stalk a little too long so I'll just trim it off. Wind the thread to just behind the eye. Crease the hackle stalk by bending it forwards and wind three turns behind the wing and the remainder in front. The hackle broke at the pliers there, but I just managed to save it. Tie the hackle off with the thread. Sometimes you can snap the hackle tip off, but if it doesn't break easily, use your scissors, it's safer. A small length of silicone tubing kept on the bobbin holder protects the hackle during the whip finish. Trim off the thread and add a small drop of thin clear varnish to the head to finish off the fly.